Good morning, good morning, good morning. Almost able to do a real rosy shake. No, nowhere near that. Good morning, everybody. The last day of 2021, Friday the 31st of December. And I'm excited to get to uh, manage to put together a bit of a mail call covering a lot of the diverse questions. Something that we get all the time, record-breaking numbers if people want to know, especially new people coming on. So let's get to it. Uh, number one, any advice for starting uh, any advice for starting videography when making travel videos? A couple thoughts on that, okay? And thank you for asking. I think we can all benefit, and I try to remind myself of these things that I learned. Take stable shots. Don't shake your camera around, okay? If you can't have a good stable shot using a gimbal or the in-camera stabilization, then don't take the uh, don't take the shot, okay? Unless it's really vital to the uh, story, okay? Use a tripod instead. Always make stable shots, okay? Think about the composition of the shot. What are you trying to say? What are you going to look at later in the uh, video frames and say, oh, I wish I had cropped that out or didn't have that. Think about the way that you're composing your images and vary your shot lengths. Hollywood has this mantra of long, medium, short. You take a long range shot like the exterior of a building and you do the inside like the Soprano sitting around a table at Satriali's um, uh, meat company and then you have close-ups you have the short shots for what's going on so they always vary those focal lengths okay just mixes it up a little bit um and number two people send you adult toys that is wild yes it is and a lot of them want uh, men and women they want custom videos made of uh uh, with the adult toys, but uh, you know this is this is YouTube, right? This is this. <laughs> I got a whole closet full. Of, I can be pleasure from here until the end of time. I'm telling you. So uh, everything from pumps to um, to um, the hell this money sent me last week the uh, the crystal clear flashlight. Yes, thank you. Yes, use it well. Could you, uh, let's see, here's another one. Could you rock some see-through onesie slingshot suits like your Marilyn Monroe or bikinis? I can rock it. I've rocked it before, but it's not the place on um, YouTube for that. Okay, this is all like, think Walt Disneyland and all that. This is all nice and sweetness and, uh, you know, not the place for that. But it's... <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. Yes, yes. Uh, but I, yes, I would model all that stuff, but on a different, you know, like OnlyFans or something like that. What inspired the tree to be outside this year? And Blackbird was amazing on the Rancho. And what the hell is a Mardi Gras tree? Okay, yes. Blackbird's been amazing. He's been a good guest on the uh property here um and i'm appreciative of that he always has excellent spirit even when he's had the worst day in the world he's still very kind and i like that people that can maintain that chill in today's world are exceptional and as far as what a mardi gras tree is we put this tree outside three weeks ago and we haven't lost one needle the tree is as fresh as the day that it went up probably because it's outside in that temperature absorbing all that fog and moisture from overnight so it's very happy so i decided to have a mardi gras tree and that's we'll remove everything on it now and we'll put up uh purple and white lights i think they associate if i can get them i think they associate that with uh mardi gras or we'll do something and then we'll put sexy little things on the trees like uh you know the old vargas sexy playing cards or, or you know things like that uh, that we can hang on the tree, little little uh, 3D art objects and all that kind of stuff. I think that might be fun. And if you want to contribute to the to the tree, the Mardi Gras tree, it's P.O. Box 8457, Santa Rosa, California, 95407. Or you can alternatively put Rosie the Rancho, Santa Rosa, California, right? <laughs> 
All right, here's the next one. Could you please, 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 I get it, get a hot tub. Not only would it help you physically, but it would be the coolest, sexiest content ever. Can you say Dorito time? Yeah, it's just, um, I think it's cool and stuff. It, it's, I don't like stuff that you got to take care of. And I'm trying to get stuff thrown away here. I'm not saying I wouldn't do it in the future. And yeah, it would be a lot of fun. Um, definitely, especially on the Rosie McNamara uh, channel. So I hope to be on there tonight bikinied up for a late welcoming in 2021 uh here's the number one question of all time you can guess what it is rosie what size are your boobs 38 d d d d all right getting on the four d's uh why did you sell your rvs because they were too hard to get in and out of this property uh, it's just too crazy a neighborhood. It's like trying to get your place out of a hoof. Trying to get your RV almost 30 foot out of a, on the street like this? Forget it. Parking on both sides. One of the most major streets in the city. I just got tired of it. And I doubled my money on each one of those deals, which was uh, fantastic. Uh, okay, Rosie, do you ever think how bad a street encounter could go? Yeah. I think about it all the time when I'm out, but I think it's also doing what I like to do and where I like to be in urban areas on the streets. And it's something that I've had a passion for for years. And I expect that things come down. I'm sure there'll be something that comes along that's horrible. I just hope I give a good account of myself, okay? But I'll try to be careful. <laughs> uh let's see why no metal detecting or vintage audio i recently really hurt myself too and i'm not able to lift anything or dig i couldn't imagine getting down on the ground digging up um targets doing the metal detecting oh they're almost floating good again i couldn't imagine the pain associated with that so i just have to hold off a while uh, here we go. Is Blackbird staying in Santa Rosa? Yes, he's officially renting uh, back there, and uh, he's been an excellent, excellent tenant, and it's been a joy to have him here, and he's welcome to stay as long as he likes, and as long as he pays for the privilege, as long as you like. For other people that want to come to the rancho for just a visit, let me know. We have fun. It's nice if you're an open kind of sharing person. And it makes it a lot more uh, joyful to have you on video. All right, last one. Rosie, I fell in love with you in Space Girl from Planet Triple X. Would you ever do a fantasy sci-fi movie if I could produce and finance it? You know how many guys have offered to... Uh... <laughs> What's that a metaphor for? I want to finance you. Finance it, you're being third gender, male slash female, would make for interesting possibilities. Yes, it would. It would be the sci-fi movie of all time. And on that note, and on another month, I'm going to close it out and wish all of you a happy 2022. Let's try to manage a little boom, 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 rosy shake there. Happy, happy end of 21.